said that before. And there we go. All right. Looks like we're live all the way around. Now we just need to unmute over here on uh, Clubhouse. Boom. And with that, with that, it looks like we are live all the way around. We are live on Facebook. We are live on Instagram. We are live on Clubhouse. We are everywhere. And we got to make sure our Roadcaster tool is ready. Okay. All right. We're going to kick this thing off. This is episode 800, which is just mind boggling to me. This is episode 800 of hashtag rise and grind. I hope you guys are ready because uh, we're going to, we're going to bring the heat like fireman says, right? We're going to bring the heat. He'd be like crackling with all that stuff, right? So let's dive in. Today's going to be an incredible, incredible episode. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? You see, there's no excuse for you not pushing yourself to the next level. In order for you to create a new you, you must have a new mindset. When teams come together, we can create things that are greater than the sum of all of their parts. And welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to eight, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning. <laughs> Make sure they're all unmuted. I'm learning here. Good morning. Hope you guys can hear well on Clubhouse as well. Good morning. Good morning. A good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Dude, today is Wednesday. That's right. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2020. Isn't that crazy? Wrong. 2021. <laughs> That's right. I almost missed a whole year. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. And what's crazy is today is the very first and the very last time it will ever be ever Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. This day will never be again. It has never been before. It'll never be again. So I want to make sure we make the absolute most of this absolutely incredible. And I mean, incredible day. Some of you look at me like, who is this dude? Dude, my name is Glenn Lundy. I'm a husband to one, a father to eight. I am the host of Hashtag Rise and Grind. I'm also the creator of the Hashtag Rise and Grind group on Facebook, the only place on Facebook where you'll find nothing but motivation, education, and inspiration. Come join our group. It's absolutely amazing. Also, the founder of Breakfast with Champions, which is our five-hour morning show over on Clubhouse that is phenomenal celebrity interviews, motivation, education, inspiration, Q&A, your opportunity to get a seat at the table, ask questions. We got incredible moderators and all kinds of, it's just amazing, all right? So make sure you go over there. And I'm also the author of The Morning Five. It's a book called The Morning Five. Five Simple Steps to an Extraordinary Life. You can go get that book at The Morning five.com. If you'd like, you can download it for free. Go ahead and check it out. All right. So that's who I am, but here's what I've done. As of today, this episode right here, special moment. This is episode 800 of hashtag rise and grind. That's 800 times that we have shown up at 5 30 AM ish. <laughs> I like to put an ish on there. There's about 10 times that it wasn't even really close to an ish. I'll say that there's a there's a one percent chance that the show may have kicked off at five forty five or five fifty even with technical difficulties, but typically we're pretty close to five thirty. That's all I that's all I can say. Overall, we're pretty pretty darn close. 
right, to 5.30 a.m. But we've done that 800 times. Literally, this show started in a closet, utility closet in my house. It was the only room my wife might would give me. And in that utility closet, there was a water heater. I had a computer screen and I had a camera facing one way. So it looked like I was a professional. I didn't want anybody to see the water heater in the back. And so we just started doing this show filled with motivation, education, inspiration three years ago, January 6, 2018. And now not only do not only have we come out of the closet to where we have a full on studio now here in Lexington, Kentucky, not only have we been able to do that, but this show does go out to YouTube as well. It goes out to YouTube. We've got hundreds and hundreds of episodes. You can find those there if you want to go back. We also have a podcast, hashtag Rising Grind with Glenn Lundy, where it goes out in podcast form, which is getting tons of downloads. And we just started doing that about five or six months ago, and it's been kicking off incredibly. Then we've got Clubhouse now, where we stream the show into Clubhouse with hundreds and hundreds of people that watch or listen live over on Clubhouse. And then we continue with Breakfast with Champions, which is amazing. And now we're also on Instagram. That's right. I see you, my Insta peeps right there. Terry's on Insta and Tessie and Jamie and all kinds of people with Insta. So now we're on Instagram. This is our second time on Instagram, which is super, super, super excited. And yes, I know, I said I'd never do it, but they told me we have to get onto TikTok. (laughs) They said we have to get onto TikTok, and so my team opened a new TikTok account yesterday. It's at breakfast underscore with underscore champions, right? And I guess she's going to get that fixed where it's going to be at breakfast with champions. I don't know. But anyways, breakfast with champions over on TikTok. That's our new TikTok page. That'll be launching today. So if you're on TikTok, if you like TikTok, if you do TikTok, then we're going to be bringing stuff over to TikTok. So I don't know why it's so cool to say TikTok. Pretty good, pretty good name. TikTok. All right. I just want to keep saying TikTok. So if you're on TikTok, make sure you pop on over there. All right. So we've been able to go from the closet to all of these different areas, and it's been nothing but motivation, education, and inspiration the entire time. We've interviewed all kinds of celebrities like Eric Thomas, the number one motivational speaker in the world, has been on our show. Mr. Ed Milet has been on our show. He's absolutely amazing. Uh, Grant and Elena Cardone have both been on our show, which is absolutely cool. And Dave Meltzer himself, and then dozens and dozens of other celebrities, as well as just interviewing successful humans and some friends of mine and Broadway performers and dealership owners and just awesome people all the way around, right? Awesome people all the way around. So we've done dozens and dozens of interviews, connected with all kinds of people. It's been absolutely incredible. As a matter of fact, my man Drew Brees even gave us a shout out. For those of you that are watching on Facebook, I'm gonna show you what that looks like real quick. Hey everybody, this is Drew Brees, quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. More than ever, friends, it's important we rise, evolve, and make an impact together. Join Glenn Monday through Friday mornings on hashtag rise and grind for just that. Motivation, education, and inspiration is exactly what this world needs. Join in on the hashtag rise and grind. See, y'all thought I was messing around. Drew Brees said this is what the world needs. Hashtag rise and grind. But he wasn't the only one. We also had Ray Lewis that gave us a shout out. Hashtag rise and grind. I love it. I love it because it's a motto of mine. When your feet hit the floor, you better be moving. But his show is live at 5.30 a.m., Monday through Friday. His goal is to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. This video asks people to watch the show. I'm asking you to watch the show for motivation, for education, and for inspiration. And it'll be some celebrity guest interviews on Fridays. Good luck, Glenn. God bless you. And we're on the same page. And we even got a never before scene. I've never shown this one before because it's a little it's a little different than what we usually do here on hashtag rising grind. But we even got a shout out from supermodel Victoria Silverstead. Yeah, that's right. Here it is. Check it out. Never before seen. This is an exclusive. Right here on Rise and Grind. You ready? <laughs> Hi, guys. Check out this show, Rise and Grind, on Facebook, Monday to Friday, 5.30 a.m. It's really inspirational. It's motivational. It's got celebrity on it. So it's really a cool show. Just check it out. This is from Glenn. And I'm Victoria Sipstead. Kisses. 
<laughs> That's right. She she blew us some kisses there at the end. I don't know how my wife feels about that, but that was awesome, right? So she gave us a shout out. So we've had some shout outs from some pretty incredible human beings. We've traveled all around the world. Like literally we've done this show from everywhere from California at 2.30 in the morning over there, Pacific time. I've done the show live from California all the way over to um, Greece, Mykonos, right? So from California at 2.30 in the morning to Mykonos where it was like 12.30 in the afternoon when we did that show, right? So the show's gone. We've gone live from, from, from everywhere around the world. But most importantly, here's the most important thing. Most importantly, with this show, we've made hundreds of thousands of connections. Literally hundreds of thousands of connections all around the world. We've reached millions of people. Millions of people around the globe, man. And it's really humbling to be able to be a part of that. To think that it all just started with... You know, that it all just started with a quick live. Just going live from the house one morning, right? Like super, super, super amazing. I'm just humbled. I've made such great friends through this through this show and, and, and continue to, right? It's amazing. And so through it all, my network has expanded massively. Like it's 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 expanded beyond my wildest imagination, just immensely. And now I get to have conversations with some of the most tremendous humans in existence. And you have to understand that these humans, they, they, they challenge me. They, they, they move me. They literally like move me forward. They, 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 they force me to look in the mirror and level up as a human. They first, they force me to do more. And you see, this is why they say your network is your net worth. You see, getting around next level people forces you to go to the next level. So the only question is, at this point, like, how do you get around the right people, right? <laughs> I know some of you guys are asking that. We've been talking about network is your net worth and how important it is and how you can grow and how you can level up and the connections. And some of y'all are like, great, Glenn, I get it. But how do I get around the next level people so that I can get to the next level, right? How do you earn a seat at the table? And so I'm going to give you the steps to that right here. I'm going to give you the steps on how you can earn your seat at the table, how you can hang out and get around those next level people that are going to push you, that are going to challenge you, that are going to move you, that are going to get you to the next level. We're going to do that here in just a second. Before we do, though, there's something we got to do on this show. Oh, I got to make sure I hit the right one over there. Before we do that, there's something we got to do. For those of you that know, and those of you that don't know, this is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right. I need you to hit that share button because I believe if we can change the way people start their day, it'll make a massive impact on this planet. I truly believe that. And sometimes all it takes to change the way somebody starts their day is for you to hit that share button. If you're over on Clubhouse, I need you to ping some people into the room. Do like Fireman Band says, do a little ping-a-thon. Ping, 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 ping. I need you to ping some people into the room. If you're on Facebook, I need you to hit that share button. If you're over there on Instagram, I don't even know what you do on Instagram. Maybe you can share, maybe you can tag somebody. I don't know. I don't know how Instagram works. I'm learning. Yeah. But whatever you gotta do, get some people in here for episode 800 of Hashtag Rise and Grind. I would definitely appreciate it. This is also the part of the show where I want you to say good morning to me and I'm gonna say good morning to you. Whether you're watching live or you're watching on replay, whatever you're doing, if you're listening to the podcast, if you're watching on YouTube, drop me a line, say what's up. I want to connect with you. I want to connect with you. 
All right. So I see I see uh, Mary Lynn over there on Instagram. I see Barbara Sanchez over there on Instagram. Over here on Facebook, I see Ray Hatcher and Will Ramsey. Good morning, Will Ramsey. What's up, Mike Overfelt? How you doing, Judy Richburg, Robin Wilshans, John Coltonborn, Nikki Antonetti. Thank you, Nikki, for the stars. I appreciate that. We take your stars. Whenever you guys drop stars on Facebook, we take those offline. We go out and serve the community. We serve homeless people. We do all kinds of incredible things. What's up, Demetrius Naylor? Stephen LaCasse... Stephen Lescalit. Great to see you. Janelle Griego, Sean Jones, Miss Liza Myers Borges is up in here. What's up, Don Sankey? Today is CMA Day. That's right, CMA Day. I love Wednesdays. Get to work with the CMA team. Jacqueline Lewis is up in here. We've got John Coltonborn and Gil Beecraft. What's up, Tina Bacon? Great to see you. Lisa Cook is up in here this morning. And then over here on Clubhouse, I see Sean and David and Amin and Stephanie and Sabina and Maquazia. Yep, Maquazia. Fabian up in here, Abraham, Nikita, Countess, Maritza, all kinds of people. What's up, Nani and Lafayette? All kinds of people over there in Clubhouse. I love it. People everywhere, man. Golly! Just surrounded by people everywhere I look. What a way to start the day. Are you kidding me? This is incredible. Hey, I want to do you a favor. Since you've been with me for episode 800, I want to give something back. So today, today only, you can use the code FREE800. That's right. Use the code FREE800 on my um, gear site. So if you go to riseandgrindgear.com, riseandgrindgear.com, use the code FREE800. Not only will you get 20% off everything that you order, but I'm also going to throw in a free Rise and Grind Tumblr. All right. You're going to get a free Tumblr with your order. 20% off. Go to riseandgrindgear.com and use the code free 800. That's for our 800th episode that we're doing here today on hashtag rise and grind. So let's dive in. I'm going to give you these steps on how you earn a seat at the table. I think you won't love it. Let's go. All right, check it out. Three years ago, all right, three years ago, I sat in the owner's box of the New Orleans Saints Mercedes Superdome and watched Drew Brees come back down 15 points with a couple minutes left in the game. Watched him come back and win the game from the owner's box with my dear friend and mentor, Mr. Josh Cummins, and the owner of the Saints, Mr. Tom Benson. The following year, I got to go back. I got to bring my son. He, he wore his suit, and we did some amazing things out there in New Orleans. It was super, super cool. He got his hair cut, and he was all trimmed up. We got to go down on the field, got to meet a bunch of players. It was super, super, super cool. But I remember that first time when I went with Josh Cummins. I remember that first time. I remember sitting in the owner's box, right? With the owner of the New Orleans Saints. And I just remember thinking like, this is it right here. <laughs> this is it. Like I have earned my seat at the table. I remember thinking that. And since then, I've met several, several incredible people from different billionaires. I've shaken hands with multiple, multiple billionaires now, probably close to, to being in the double digits, which is a big deal for me. To to global, like, like, like global uh, impactors, you know, people that are just making a massive impact on this planet. I've shook hands with many of them. 
to to thought leaders and influencers. I've had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with thought leaders and influencers and like everything in between. And you see, they say proximity is power. Who you spend your time with is who you become. So it's important that you spend time with those that are at a level that you're reaching for. Those you admire, those that you look up to, those who have already achieved your goals. I want you to, I want to say that one more time for the, for the people in the back, because I, I think that was powerful. Like when I wrote these, I write these shows first thing in the morning, right? I, I sit down, I do my gratitude, I do my goals, I write the words good morning, and then I write the show. And so it's kind of like a download. It's just something that comes through me every day. I am so thankful for it, right? It's come through 800 times now, which is amazing. And I always, people always say, Glenn, how many shows are you going to do? I'm like, dude, when, when it stops coming through me, that'll be the last episode, right? So hopefully so far I wake up, I show up and it comes through me. So when I wrote these words, you want to spend time with those who have already achieved your goals. I think that's powerful. I think that's powerful. Sometimes we get caught up with people that are at the same level as us. And I love them. I get them. Like those are my people, but they're not going to push you forward. You have to get around people that have already achieved the goals that you have on your mind and on your heart. So still we're like, okay, Glenn, well, how do I get them? How do I get around them, right? How do I get a seat at the table? So step one, I'm going to give you three easy steps on how you can get a seat at the table, all right? I'm going to give you three easy steps. Step one, to earn a seat at the table, you must get in proximity with those that are at the table. Well, how do I do that, Glenn? Great. Read their books. If they've written books, I need you to read their books. If they've produced videos, I need you to watch their videos. If they have live events, I need you to show up for their live events events. If they're on social media, I need you to follow them on social media. I need you to engage with them. I need you to uh, comment and respond to their comments. I need you to 100% get in the game. You have to get in the arena in order to connect and build relationships with those that have achieved your goals. You have to get into the arena. You cannot win by just sitting and watching on the sidelines. Nobody's going to bring this to you. You are going to have to work, friends. I know that sometimes can be a dirty word for some people. You're going to have to work at it. That's how it works. You've got to get in proximity. You see, proximity is power. And proximity doesn't necessarily mean physically. It's 2021. You can get in proximity by simply studying following per se, right? Studying and following those that are doing the things that you wish you could do. Just get in proximity. They don't need to know that you're there. They don't need to know. You don't have to go blasting the door down. You don't have to say, hey, will you mentor me? Hey, will you mentor me? Hey, will you coach me? Will you do this for me? Will you do this for me? Will you do this for me? Will you let me, will you let me sit with you? Will you let me come with you? Will you let me be with you? Like, stop it. No, just get in proximity, man. Just get in proximity, learn, study. You want to make somebody feel feel valued? Value them. <laughs> Value them. Take the time, dude. Like when we met Tom Benson for the, for, uh, for the first time, I had studied Tom Benson. I knew everything about his family. I knew about his relationships. I knew, I knew that he liked to wear gold ties, right? I knew that he came from the auto industry originally. I had a Chevy store before he ever got into football, right? I knew who he was as a human. And Josh Cummins and I both took the time to really cultivate a relationship with this guy. We didn't just say, hey, give us tickets to the show. No, man. No, not at all. We just got in proximity and valued him. And we got invited to the table. You see, so many people are trying to knock down the doors to get to the table. The key is to get invited. And that comes through proximity. Get in the game. 
put in the work, do the hard stuff. That's step one. Proximity is power. Now, step two is much harder. (laughs) That's right. Step two is much harder. Step one, just getting around the people that are doing the things that you want to do, studying them. That's actually pretty easy. Step two is much harder. See, step two is you must cultivate a one-way relationship with these people. That's right. You heard me right. Everybody's always told you, well, I'm looking for, you know, relationship needs to be two ways, blah, blah, blah. Nope. You must cultivate a one-way relationship with these people. Here's what I mean by that. All right. Your dream, your desire, or your vision of a future state is yours and yours alone. You hear me? Your vision, your desire, your idea of a future state is yours and yours alone. No one else is going to see your vision like you do. So don't try to force your vision upon me or anybody else. Instead, I want you to think of bamboo. I want you to think of the bamboo tree. You see, the bamboo tree doesn't grow above ground for five years. You plant the seeds and you water the seeds and you make sure that they have proper sunlight and you nourish it and you continue to show up every day. And it's a 100% one way relationship. There's a seed under the ground. You don't even know what's going on. You just have to commit. You don't even know if that seed's still alive. You don't know what's happening. You just have to show up every single day, show up, water the seed, water the seed, nourish it. It is a one-way relationship. But when it sprouts, once that seed gets above the ground, that bamboo tree will grow 50 feet in days. It just explodes. And that's exactly, exactly how building relationships, earning a seat at the table, it's exactly how it works. It is a one-way relationship until it grows into a tree. You see, I remember meeting the first time I ever met a billionaire and I blew it. I blew it because I was so eager to collab with him on a big level. I was just so eager to collab that I ultimately blew the entire thing. I blew the deal, I blew the opportunity because I didn't take the time to really develop and nurture the relationship first. So start small and work your way up. That's the key. Step three, and I'm gonna make this one quick because I'm running out of time here. I don't wanna go over too much. Step three is you gotta show up and do the work. There's something that I learned a long time ago. Something that I learned a long time ago is that people buy when value exceeds price. People buy when value exceeds price. And so I back that up by saying, no one is allowed to come to the table empty-handed. That's it. No one's allowed to come to the table empty-handed. You must do the work. You have to show up and bring value. When you bring value, you get invited to the table. When you bring value over a long period of time, consistently over a long period of time, you bring value, you will get an invitation to the table. When you continue to nurture the seed and pour the water and add value to it, add value to it, add value to it, you'll ultimately get invited to the table. I've showed up here 800 times. 800. 5.30 a.m. Don't feel good, don't care, show up. In a different time zone, don't matter. Show up. Only three people watching doesn't matter. Show up. Don't feel like it. Bring the energy even harder. Don't feel like it. Let's go 150 instead of 140. People don't respond to your messages. Who cares? Keep showing up. They'll come around when the time is right. Dude, I've been messaging Will Smith for two years now. (laughs) <laughs> I've been messaging Will about every two to three weeks. I just send him a message. Hey, Will, congratulations on that last movie, man. It was the bomb. I really appreciate you. Hey, Will, bro, uh, happy new year. Hope you and your family are doing well. Hey, Will, what's up, man? We got this show, hashtag rise and grind. My audience loves you. We talk about you all the time. You the man, bro. I've been messaging him about every two to three weeks. Been messaging him for years. 
He's never messaged back. It's a one-way relationship. But I promise you, one day, one day, he's going to invite me to his table. Why do I want to connect with Will? Man, I just, I just connect with, I just connect with his story, right? Who he is. I think he's a fabulous, I think he's done fabulous things. And I don't want to be Will Smith. I'm not interested in being Will Smith, but I do want to shake his hand. I want to get in proximity, right? I'd like an invite to the table. It's one of my goals. He's doing some of the, he has achieved some of the goals that I have. So I want to get close. So those are the three steps. You want to go get yourself a seat at the table. I need you to do those three things. Understand that proximity is power. You got to get in the arena. It's not going to happen sitting on the sidelines. Step two, think of the bamboo tree, right? You just think of the bamboo tree and put in the work. Cultivate that one-way relationship. And step three, make sure that you bring value. Show that you're a person of character. Show that you're a person of integrity. Show that you're willing to show up every single day at 5.30 in the morning so that you can pour into humans with motivation, education, inspiration, if that's your thing, which that is my thing. I am Glenn Lundy, host of Hashtag Rise and Grind. This is episode 800, and I am so thankful that we got to share this morning together. Listen, I love you, my friend. I do. And sometimes I know I got to jab you in the gut every once in a while because that's what friends do. But I absolutely love you. I believe that you and I are children of God, the God of the universe, the God that made everything. And that God made you and me to be the absolute best versions of ourselves that we can possibly be. Not average, not below average, or not a little bit above average. And in order for us to become the best versions of ourselves that we can possibly be, then we need to earn the seat at the table the seat at the table with the people that are doing the things that we wish we could do that have achieved the things that we wish we could achieve. Because when we get that seat at the table, baby, mm, 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 that's how we get to the next level. So listen, I love you where you are. I'm going to love you even more with where you're going. So let's keep on climbing. Fair enough. Fair enough. Listen, if you need more videos like this, you can go to glennlundy.com. That's right. If you need more videos like this, you can go to glennlundy.com. We got a bunch of them up there. Why is this not playing? There we go. There we go. That's right. Right? If you need more videos, go to glennlundy.com. Um, you can download the podcast, hashtag Rise and Grind with Glenn Lundy. If you're watching at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, I'm so glad you're here. All that good stuff. But most importantly, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Go out there today and have an incredible day. Just go out there and have an incredibly powerful, impactful day. Go make a difference in somebody else's life. And then I'll see you back here again tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. Because we're going to do this all over again on Hashtag Rise and Grind with episode 801. You better believe it. We ain't stopping now. See ya. Okay. Shoo. Good morning. Those of you on Facebook, for those of you on Facebook, make sure you head over to Clubhouse. All right. We're going to do breakfast with champions right now. Uh, head on over there. We'll do some Q&A. We'll talk about the things that we were talking about here on the show this morning. We'll do some interviews throughout the day a little bit later. So go join us on Clubhouse right now for the Rise and Grind kind of after show, if you want to call it that. All right. I'll see you over there. I'm gonna get it started, have a party in the morning, and I'm gonna wake the world is so alarm and I have that rising grind, have that rising grind. First thing on my mind, early in the morning time, daily motivation, feeling so divine, waking up the nation, have that rising grind, have that rising grind, 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 have that rising grind, 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 have that rising grind. Stop.